A rose by any other name would smell just as sweet, said Juliet in Shakespeare's play. A few hundred years later, Gertrude Stein penned, a rose is a rose is a rose. This came to mind as it's been just a little over a year since the Direct Marketing Association, the DMA, changed its name from the Direct Marketing Association to the Data Marketing Association. Why the change? Well, it seems direct marketing, DM, was too closely associated with direct mail and was confusing in that respect in that it didn't reflect the full range of direct marketing from digital, broadcast, print, whatever. Is that true? Do people not really understand? Did the name need to be changed? Does direct marketing not mean all that it used to mean? Do I agree? Do you agree? Well, as a career direct marketer, uh, I've come to realize it doesn't really matter. What matters is what your consumer thinks, what your customer thinks. And if, in fact, people find direct marketing means direct mail, then it's time for a change for the discipline as a whole. So call it direct marketing, response marketing, data and marketing, or what you will. There are certain truths in the discipline that will remain the same. And we'll share how each of these three roses signify one of those great truths. The first, timeless truth number one, it's all about self-interest and offer. It always has been and it always will be. General advertising can use budgets of $100 million to create cultural icons and drive awareness and a measure of differentiation. Our particular skill set is to leverage a brand to drive response persuade consumers that they need to part with their hard-earned dollars. It's a unique skill set to move a customer through their own particular customer journey, through consideration and into purchase, to get beyond features and benefits to advantages, prove those advantages, and persuade someone that they need to take action today. It's a specialty skill set. It's a skill set we've refined over a number of decades and will continue to do so in all media. And data, indeed, plays a very large role in what we do. Timeless truth number two, it's all about targeting, also known as data part one. This is where the insights and processes we find over decades are now layered on top of new digital tools and data mining tools to help us better, more surgically pinpoint consumers where they are and where they are at particular points in their buying process to up the persuasion and get them to buy. We're finding that consumer in ways that we haven't been able to find them. We've got refinements in, in geo-targeting and household targeting so we have more arrows in the quiver and more powerful arrows in our quiver than we have ever had before. Which brings us to timeless truth number three. It's all about testing, measuring, and refining. This is where direct marketing can really get fun. Being able to read the data across all channels and across all aspects of a campaign, as an integrated agency, we're able to better refine results. So we're looking from digital, mail, print, broadcast, across all platforms, all channels, and reading results by creative, by offer, and by various media factors to refine and drive up results in real time. So is DM, direct marketing, about mail? Yes, in some measure it continues to be. Is it about data? Yes, and it always has been. Is it about digital? It has been for a number of decades, and we're adding new digital platforms, new digital tools to drive the efficiency of what we do almost daily. So here's the truth about what we do. Creative, that's built around self-interest and offer. Strategy, built around targeting. And campaigns that are driven by testing, measuring, and refining. So call it direct marketing, response marketing, ROI marketing, or as some of our clients do, thank God you helped me make my numbers marketing. Our goal remains the same as it has for years, to drive results that smell sweet to our clients.